So, hi everybody. In this tutorial, I would like to create a web HMI project with spider control for a backoff PLC. The, the PLC will be a CX9020. Um, we'll use the wizard to create a new project. So, we choose the standard PLC control um, project type. We give it a name. Tutorial. We will place it in respective folder. Go through uh, next steps of the wizard. So give it resolution. Choose a refresh rate in which the variables will be read from the PLC. We can choose um, a style for uh, the HMI. This will be based on vector graphics. We will generate a couple of views. We can choose to use a background and a foreground, that will be fine. And we will have the wizard create our first project. The next thing is we have to um, import the variable list file from uh, TwinCAD. So we go to project configurations and choose uh, the TPY file which was generated by TwinCAD. So this now imports our variables. We move over to runtime configurations. Spider Control is able to support Java applet or HTML5. We prefer HTML5 this time. So now our project is set. We can start designing our HMI. We make this a little bit smaller. So on top we have our toolbox which contains uh, the basic objects used by spider control. There is also a library which contains more sophisticated, more complex macro functions. We'll now just do a simple little project to start. So we'll choose um, an edit box to add here. Every object uh, which is selected will open over here uh, the property pane. The property pane consists of uh, general properties containing uh, position, font and, and colors. The second is the repaint. What will the object show? So we would like to connect it to a PPO. A PPO is a variable from the PLC. We have local variables called containers. Um, we can push on these three buttons that will open the variable, variable list browser and we're able to select from the TPY file that we just imported and we'll connect that. We'll take a bar graph um, as the next action and also connect the bar graph to uh, the very same variable. So we connect it to this integer. We will add a button to increment and decrement. We can therefore change the style for buttons if we like. I go back to the wizard, select style and uh, choose this glossy type of button. Go back to the view, select the button, put it here. So this button consists of um, several vector graphics. We have the orange background, we have a narrow showing to the left. I will modify uh, this arrow and choose an arrow which looks upward. We go to the actions. So I would like to have an increment and a decrement action. So we choose the increment. Type will be PPO. We connect to the same variable and let it increment by 10. We make a copy paste of this object. Have a decrement by minus 10 and we probably also change the image to an arrow down. Okay, 
So this is our first test. We can go back to the next step is to make a build all and to start the simulator. So we'll do a local simulation of our HMI, which can be started here. So we have an increment decrement function, we can enter a value, we can change our pages, so the local simulation runs well. So next step is to install the web server components on the PLC. To do so we uh, need uh, the Serhost uh, software and the deployment which was um, which you can get from um, Ininet. So the web server components that uh, should be installed um, are uh, available in such directories. So it's it's a, a native compiled application. So there is different builds for uh, the operation systems. There is um, builds for Windows CE and for the different processor architectures. So um, you have to see whether you have an ARM architecture or an, X, an Intel x86 architecture. We have a CX9020, so this is ARM. So this is uh, the files that you get from Ininet. And these files must be copied to um, the PLC. So if we open the local explorer, they shall be um, copied to this www folder. So these are exactly the same files, they should be installed here. Uh, after first time installing, you should start this script. This will disable the IIS web server, which is still uh, blocking the port 80, and the script will move uh, the IIS web server away. Uh, in order to allow our web server to, to run here. Um, the web server is started by uh, calling this micro browser CE launcher application. This application will be called automatically by the Windows, by the back of Windows CE image. Uh, so you do not have to uh, worry about um, the automatic start um, of the power up. Um, there is one more thing we should uh, have a look at, and this is uh, the FTP server. To enable the FTP download from our tool, uh, you have to make sure that uh, the settings are um, as follows. So the server must be active and all these checkboxes should be set. After we have um, made sure that all these precautions are fulfilled. We can start a web server. So, if uh, the web server is not licensed yet, this will create a challenge code here, which you can send us by email, and you rec will receive this license code, um, which uh, has to be entered manually, and this will license the web server. Um, the PLC is now ready, so we can continue um, with our tool. We can uh, now download the project directly to the respective PLC by entering the IP address. So this connects. Um, the subdirectory is uh, set correctly, so it's uh, the root www, which is a link to the www directory, which we just saw, and the HMI is um, stored in this subfolder. So we start the download. Um, so now all files belonging to the project are downloaded directly to the respective directory. Okay, close, open the browser, 
type in the URL. Okay, and we are now connected to um, the variables on the PLC. And we have the project running as HTML5.